now to a morning original stories you won't see anywhere else. It is the first Monday of 2022. So have you thought about your New Year's resolutions yet? Sadly, no, but setting <laughs> goals and seeing them through can impact your mental health. One expert tells Wake Up Central's Michael Aaron foregoing resolutions is OK, too. It's all new this morning in our weekly Mind Matters series. We've reached the point in the year where many of us are so wrapped up in the idea of losing weight, getting organized, paying off debt, dropping this habit or that. But pause. Ashley Gold, a therapist at UAMS, says it's important to look back. Try to think of one lesson or accomplishment from each month of 2021. It'll often surprise you that you'll see that, wow, yeah, I, I did get that new job at the beginning of the year last year, or I was able to save up for that new car or whatever it is. Gold says that can help set the stage for a new year, whether you make New Year's resolutions or not. I encourage people to do what feels good to them. And she encourages people who set goals to start small and make them attainable. A lot of us are all or nothing thinkers. Well, if I haven't been going to the gym at all, it's probably not very realistic for me to think that all of a sudden I'm going to go to the gym five days a week. Setting unachievable goals sets us up for failure and quite possibly beating ourselves up. According to Gold, that negative self-talk can take a toll on our mental health. Don't let perfect get in the way of good enough. So I think we really need to show ourselves some grace and some kindness. Gold says the pandemic has been tough, but also given many of us the opportunity to reevaluate our priorities. So as we enter 2022, she offers this advice. One day at a time. That the only thing that's promised to us is the present. We're right where we need to be right now. We think of those typical resolutions year in and year out. So how about something new? Gold says this is a great time to assess our mental wellness and to seek help if you're struggling with things like anxiety or depression. Michael Aaron, THV 11 News.